Good morning, whores, and welcome to the vlog. Let me tell you what's going down today. Today I'm daily vlogging. Day in the life of me vlog. Yay! What? Why are you being such a whore? Mm. What? But I just don't understand why are you just like. But anyway, a little something that I've been wanting to rant about recently is I'm going through my awkward phase again. My awkward phase has come back to bite me in the fucking ass, and I'm not happy about it. I thought I thought my awkward phase was over when I was like 15, 14. You know, I thought I left high school, then I glue up, and then I was like, okay, great. I'm no longer going to be the awkward, clumpy piece of shit that I was when I was 15. And now my awkward phase has come back for a season two, and I'm not impressed. Like, recently I've just been looking so awkward. What the fuck do I even look like right now? Like, I look at people and I'm like, wow, they have their life together. Like, they have a look. Like, what the fuck is my look like? I'm just so over looking like an awkward little mushroom boy. I don't like it. My life just seems like a big stinky blurry mess right now and I don't know what's going on. I can't I even can't keep my keep thoughts on track. Like I can't think straight. Who the fuck is calling me? Hello? Yeah. Don't worry, it was nothing. Okay. And then on top of that, a bunch of awkward situations have just been happening to me. Like a bunch of awkward teen puberty things have been happening to me recently and it's kind of like, I don't know what to do in this situation. Like for example, one of the awkward things that happened to me last night was I was trimming my, um, you know, my, and I snipped something that should not be snipped and I let out a little scream. I let out a little <laughs> the pain that I felt in that moment. I saw my life flash before my eyes. I really shouldn't have been down there with scissors in the first place, but then I can't be bothered to like shave. <laughs> Next thing I know there's blood. That right there made me want to just faint and collapse on the floor. I went all dizzy and I felt like I couldn't see anything. So I had to sit down because if I didn't, I would have lost consciousness. And I just started freaking out. Like what the hell am I supposed to do in that situation? No one's ever told me what to do when I snip my b Like I don't, like, I thought I was literally just gonna bleed to death. I was like, you know, I've always like wondered when I'm like, you know, trimming down there. I'm like, oh my god, what if I just like, you know, snips it like that? Or what if I just like, Neh. you know, like, what does it feel like? And then it actually happens and you're like, oh my god, what? I'm, I'm literally dying. What if it never heals? Like, what if I, what if it falls off? And then so because I was having like a literal panic attack and my was bleeding, I thought it was gonna like calm down and stop after like 20 minutes. No. Three hours go by and it's still bleeding. I was literally, I was about to call a fucking ambulance. Get me to a fucking hospital. I need stitches on my so I decided to just give in. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to sleep, I'm just gonna fall asleep, and if I bleed to death in my sleep, I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. And then I woke up this morning and I'm still alive. It has officially stopped bleeding, I can tell you that. So yeah, that's just like an awkward thing that happened to me last night that I didn't really know how to deal with, because like, I'm a teenager and it was like the first time that it's ever happened to me and I was freaking out. I just, I never want to go through that again. I still don't even know what you're supposed to do in that situation. Oh my god, wait, you know what could be kind of fun? Should I call the doctor right now and ask what I should do in that situation? Should I pretend it's happening? now. Oh, that scared me. I thought she answered the phone. Oh my god, wait, I'm nervous. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I don't want to do this. We are sorry for the delay. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Why am I... GP surgery. Hi, um, I was, I was just asking for some advice. Do you guys do that? Okay, then it'll probably be better off getting advice from a chemist. Um, it was just that, um, I was just trimming my pubes and I, um, cut the skin on my and it's bleeding and I don't know what to do. Okay, um. Do I put a band-aid on it? I'm just going to speak to my secretary first because she may have some Okay. Why am I doing this? This is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. This is so fucking awkward. Why do I do this to myself? I can just tell she's laughing with all her co-workers right now. Like there's some kid on hold. He's trimmed his fucking ball sack. Hello. Hello. Sorry, sorry. I was speaking to the secretary. That's fine. How much is it bleeding? Um, not like a crazy amount, but like it hasn't stopped. If it's not much blood. Um, see how you get on for another couple of hours. Mm -hmm. Just put something like tissue or something over just to sort of stop anything uh -huh. getting in there. Um, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, bye. Fuck that! <laughs> Fuck me! Why am I so Wedding in all of my crevices. That was awful. Oh my god, my soul hurts. My soul is permanently damaged from that. That was so embarrassing. This is why I don't fucking daily vlog. Like, what the hell was that intro? What did I just film? Okay, well, I don't know what the fuck that intro was, but that phone call is gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. But anyway, 
It's breakfast time. Time to make breakfast, bitches. Let's make breakfast. I don't really have like a solid breakfast routine. I usually just wake up, have breakfast, and then go back to sleep. Um, <laughs> for those of you wondering, my favorite breakfast food is toast. I mean, it's just warm bread. What can go wrong? Fuck me. As if I burnt. Why did I burn the toast? I'm usually really good at making toast. My ego, my ego is, damaged. is damaged. I'll never I'll make, toast make toast again. I hate it when I burn my toast and then like I'm having Vegemite because you can't tell what's the burnt toast and what's the Vegemite. And then I end up putting way too much Vegemite on because I can't tell if it's the Vegemite or the burnt toast. And then next thing I know, I'm like extremely dehydrated because Vegemite is just pure salt. I don't know how it ends up black. Like what makes Vegemite that color? <laughs> That concerns me. Breakfast haul. This is my Vegemite. Hope you liked my Vegemite routine. Let's give it a taste test. Way too much Vegemite, but it still tastes good. I'm doing my laundry. This vlog is literally, this is why I fucking hate daily vlogging. Like, no one literally gives a fuck about me doing my laundry. Unless you do care about me doing my laundry, then I mean, peace and love to you. Although saying that, when I was like 13, 14, I was obsessed with watching Alfie and Zoella's like daily vlogs. Now looking back at it, I don't understand. Like I used to get so excited for that shit as well. I'd be like, time to wake up and watch Zoella and Alfie do nothing for 20 minutes. Like, wow, that's fucking cringy. You know, maybe this is nice. Like you're just watching me do my laundry. That's fun, right? No, fuck off. I'm not gonna talk about laundry anymore. Let's play a game instead. Let's play two truths and a lie. I just realized that my laundry is actually still wet. It's still like damp. Why am I taking it off the hanger if it's still damp? I have to put it back on. Ow. How did I not fucking realize that it was still damp when I was taking it off? This is what filming YouTube videos does to my brain. It makes me an idiot. Anyway, so back to the game of two truths and a lie. But plot twist, I'm never actually gonna tell you the answers, so I'm gonna tell you the two truths and a lie, but I'm not gonna tell you which one's the lie, so I guess you're just never gonna ever find out. You know what, if this video gets 10 million thumbs up, I'll tell you guys which one was the lie. Okay, the first story is on the first day of fifth grade, I sharded in class and it was so loud and it completely stank out the whole classroom and the whole classroom smelled like shit. So obviously I didn't wanna be blamed for sharding and sinking out the whole classroom. So I blamed it on the boy next to me and for the rest of the year, he got called Shardy Brandon and I had to s s listen to him get called Shardy Brandon all year, knowing that in fact it was my shark. That's the first story. Okay, time for the second story. When I was 12, my sister told me that if you put tea tree oil in your eyes, that you can see through walls. So I put tea tree oil in my eyes and it burnt so much and my eyesight was blurry and I had to go to the doctors and I couldn't see anything because my eyes were blurry and burning for two whole weeks. That's the second story. Actually, let's just take a moment to imagine 12 year old Louie, 12 year old me, putting tea tree oil in my eyes and just going, ah, mom, it's fucking burnt. I can't even see through walls. Wait, I can't even see anything. That's how it went. And the last story that you're getting is I had a pet lizard and I made an Instagram account for my pet lizard when I was 14 and that Instagram account may or may not still exist so if you want to try and find it you can okay I'm laying on my couch I'm about to watch and react to the movie 365 days because I didn't know what the fuck to vlog and I really wanted to watch a movie so I was like why not just do both so yeah, apparently in this movie there's a boat scene that's like fucking crazy. But um, just a little disclaimer, if you're under the age of 18, click off this video now because I don't want your mum to um sue me and take me to jail and put me in jail. And also don't watch the movie if you're under 18 because apparently it gets real frisky and if you do watch the movie, you didn't hear about it from me. Also for obvious reasons, I'm not actually gonna like put any of the footage from the movie in this video because one, I don't want to get it copyrighted. Two, I don't want this video to end up on Pornhub. So yeah. Oh. She's naked. Oh. And she. Oh. Ah! You just saw it! Wait, what? Is this real? Oh my god. How is this legal to show on Netflix? Ew. That looks painful. Oh. And it's in his mouth. I'm uncomfy. Ew! Why is he dribbling on it? What? That can't be a prop. That looks too flesh like. Oh my god. Ew. Get your fingers out of her mouth. What even position is that? Oh. Oh. Now they're doing it on top of the boat? Oh my god, they're doing it everywhere in the boat. Oh my god, this is way too detailed. What? What if she falls off the edge? This is lasting way too long. They're doing it on top of the boat. What if Google Maps is watching? I don't want to watch anymore. I'm turning the movie off. 
Hi, okay, so it's lunchtime, and I thought that instead of being a boring little hoe and just making lunch, I would try a TikTok challenge. <laughs> it's TikTok challenge time, bitches. Basically, there's this trend going around on TikTok at the moment where it's like, showing my gas station order. This is my gas station order. This is what I get from the gas station, gas station haul. So I thought that I would put my own little spin on it for this vlog. BRB, I'm filling out my water bowl. Bowl? I'm not a fucking duck. Anyways, so I thought that I would go to the gas station and I have to try and make myself lunch from ingredients from the gas station. I'm only allowed to buy ingredients from the gas station and I have to try and make myself lunch from the ingredients that I buy from the gas station. Sounds fun, right? This is probably gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be because I forgot that I'm vegan. Gas station options are pretty limited and shit as it is, so trying to find something vegan in here is probably just gonna be not a fun time. The only thing I've been able to find in here so far is almond milk and mushrooms, so unless I wanna make like mushroom cereal with almond milk, I don't think I'm gonna be having a very nice lunch today. I'm back! I'm back. Oh my god, I've got lip sweat from wearing that mask. Gross. Gas station haul, let me show you what I got. First thing I got is orange juice. I was only meant to have a sip, but then I realized I was really fucking thirsty. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna be doing for lunch is I got these like two minute noodles, three minute noodles, fuck. That extra minute's gonna make a big difference. But I was like, I can't just make two minute noodles for lunch and vlog that, because like no one's gonna fucking wanna watch me make two minute noodles. So I'm gonna make it gourmet. I'm gonna add mushrooms and these like jarred jalapenos. Okay, well the instructions are in Chinese. So that's my first issue. Um, you see the thing is, I can't read Chinese, so I don't know what the fuck they were expecting. Okay, well there's pictures, so I'm just gonna follow the pictures. If I'm doing it right, is that chicken? That better not be chicken. Is this chicken? It doesn't say there's chicken on the ingredient. That looks like chicken. No! That looks like chicken skin. Is there fucking chicken in this, or is it cabbage? Why do they want to put fucking chicken in my noodles? That's so veganist. Why don't they just put it on the fucking instructions? It's not that hard to say, this contains chicken. <laughs> I have these Korean noodles that I use to make Korean ramen and I just will use this instead of that. I'll still use the sauce though from the packet, so technically this is what's gonna make it taste like this, so it's fine. Okay, my mushrooms are cooking and my water's boiling. Just thought I'd give you a little update. Ah! I swear I can usually do that. I'll do it again, I'll do it again, ready? Mushrooms on fire! Holy fuck, it's getting really smoky in here. Half my noodles are done. Okay, I'm just gonna put the noodles in a bowl. Okay, I'm gonna add my jalapenos. Mushrooms. Okay, that doesn't look horrible. Let me give you a noodle tour. Here's what my noodles looking like. Let's eat. It doesn't taste that bad. My shoulders look fat. I'm not gonna have to delete this footage. Hello, I'm awake and I'm back. I ended up falling asleep in the backyard. I don't know how, because that was the most uncomfortable position I've ever been in in my entire life. I literally don't know how the fuck I fell asleep just laying on the concrete like that. And now my shirt just feels like all scrunched up at the front end. Is my shirt on backwards? I actually woke up to a colony of ants crawling all over my face and all up in my nostrils and stuff. So now whenever I shake my head and an ant falls out, there's literally one right there. Maybe I'll just take a bath tonight and drown the ants that are living in my head right now. Anyways, it's time to feed my dog. That's why, that's the whole reason I'm vlogging right now because I'm feeding my dog. I don't really know why my family make me, like out of all the chores, out of all the family members in this household, all four of us, they choose the vegan to touch this raw sausage meat. Pebbles dinner! Pebbles dinner! Pebbles! How the fuck is that hoe? Why is she not coming? Hi Pebbles! Are you fucking serious? 